Dolphin Square is one of the largest residential estates in the UK. It's nearly 100 years old. And what we're doing is investing the money required to future-proof the asset for a low-carbon economy. We're overlooking the River Thames, and it's one of the largest residential complexes in central London. We have over 1,200 residential apartments. The site in its entirety is over seven acres, and we've got quite an amazing garden, which uh, measures about three and a half acres. We acquired the asset in September 2020. Um, it's particularly important to AXA because it's such a large asset. It's unusual to find this type of residential asset with this much scale in central London. And I think what makes it particularly unique is that this would never be built again today in a new build scheme. This is an energy-led regeneration of the estate. So we're taking a number of actions to reduce the carbon emission of the estate. We're looking at insulating all the roofs, replacing all the windows, of which we have over 6,000, installing solar panels. We are moving away from a fossil fuel-led energy system of conventional gas boilers to um, a modern day electric system using air source heat pump technology and bringing in innovative solutions such as rainwater harvesting and biofuel technology. We're going to be reducing the overall carbon emissions of the estate from 48.5 kilograms per square metre to just under two and a half kilograms per square metre. The reduction in carbon emissions is going to impact wider society and the environment and this is us doing our part. What we're really looking to do here is to go above and beyond and ensure that we really future-proof this asset for the long term. It's an incredibly big job. Um, one, because of the size of the estate, and secondly, that you're dealing with a building that was built in the 30s. So one of the key challenges is how do we implement these technologies without compromising the living space? We are also going to have an estate that is occupied for the majority of the, the construction period, and we'll need to work with the residents on the logistics of relocation, and that's why we're here to help. What a lot of our competitors are doing is targeting the premium end of the rental market, whereas what we're doing here today is looking to retain the existing community that we have at Dolphin Square. You only have to go out into the gardens to see the community engagement that, that happens on a day-to-day -day basis. Building tomorrow together, we're really looking to be more than just a landlord here and embrace intergenerational living to improve the well-being of our residents, but also the well-being of our staff by looking to achieve the highest possible certification from a wellness perspective. What's been really positive already is through our stakeholder engagement, not just with our residents and staff, but also the local council, the general feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. A number of our residents and members of staff have been here for decades and they're incredibly excited about the positive change that's coming. If I'm sat here in five years' time and we've achieved and demonstrated the carbon emissions that we set out to achieve and our competitors are following suit, taking on similar projects, then that's what success looks like.